Hi, I'm John from Novation, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Pattern Chain Sequences feature that you'll find when you update your Circa firmware to version 1.7. And as always, we've been listening closely to your feedback and suggestions, and in version 1.7 we've added some highly requested new features that will let you explore completely new ways of creating music with Circuit. And as always, Circuit 1.7 is completely free, and it's available now, so just connect your Circuit to your Mac or PC running Google Chrome, and update using components standalone or log in at components.novationmusic.com. In Circuit 1.7, we've really pushed the boundaries of what Circuit is capable of, and we've made it possible for you to create complex sequences of patterns and pattern chains. Previously, it was only possible to select single patterns or link patterns together to create linear sequences up to eight bars in length by pressing and holding the pads like this. But now, using the new pattern chain sequences, we can create complex chains of patterns up to a maximum of 32 patterns in length per track in any order whatsoever. This lets you create really complex sequences using less patterns, which give you more space to compose new elements. Pattern chain sequencing can be accessed by holding shift when in patterns view. And each track essentially has access to four banks of eight steps that can be used to create your own pattern chain sequences. So let's say that we want to play this one, this one, this one, and this one. We'll have this one, this one, this one, and this one. We'll have this twice, this twice, this twice, this twice, and then these two, and then this one, and then this one. Let's press, press play on this. So as you can see, each slot in a bank is illustrated by the macro LEDs, and the banks are represented on the octave pads. When octave down is dimly lit, this indicates that we're creating chains using the slots in the first bank. When it is brightly lit, we're now in bank two. This then extends for two more banks illustrated on the octave up pad. When all slots are used, the pad turns red to indicate that the chain cannot be extended any further. As you can see, the pad has now turned red. We filled up the chain for synth one. Pressing a pattern pad will remove all of the pattern chain data and restore the sequence. We can add to an existing sequence using append. You can toggle the append setting by pressing shift and patterns. When patterns is brightly lit, append is switched on, which means that we can add to a sequence rather than removing it. When patterns is dimly lit, append is switched off. With append on, you can extend your pattern chain sequence using shift, even when playing. And then we can use the octave buttons to navigate between the sequences. Okay, so that was pattern chain sequences. To learn more about the other features available in Circuit version 1.7, please use the links below. Thanks for watching.